Okay, welcome to ESLEschool.com and another lesson for the IGCSE ESL exam. Okay, today we're going to focus on your writing skills. We'll be talking about family. Of course, like most lessons, we will be also touching on other skills as well. So I've got here three exercises and also a word list here. Now the first exercise is a listening, okay, and also a bit of reading because I've put the transcript here, okay. And you play it, just play it. Now. Endeavor where people choose to downsize the space they live in. The typical American family home today is about 2,600 square feet, we're told. Well, time and questions pop up. There's seven questions. What you do, you choose one of these, you check, and if you're right, it continues. Okay, so pause this video and do this activity. Okay, welcome back. Let's just close this down for you. Okay, we move on to exercise two. So exercise two, we're still practicing our listening skills, but also writing as well. Now the final one, exercise three, will be writing an email. And often we're asked to describe our family. So I've put in some phrases to describe family in here. The first one is brother and sister. Now if you do describe your brother and sister in your email, make sure you use their first names. Okay, it just make some seem real. So for this exercise you click here. This is normal speed. I have an older brother, Mark, and a sister called Maria, who is two years younger than me. Okay, and then you just write what you hear here. Don't worry about punctuation. If you want to slow it down a bit, you press here. I have an older brother, Mark, and a sister called Maria, who is two years younger than me. Okay. So one, two, three, and then uh, you got your sister and brother, and of course you got to mention your mum and dad as well. Okay, now for your mum and dad, you don't mention your first names. So again, I put here two sentences you could use in your email. Again, there's normal speed, and then a bit slower here. So pause this video and do this exercise. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you got full marks for this. So we're moving on to the main bit of the lesson. Okay, as I said, we're going to write an email. And what I've done here, I've made this video for you. And then I'll, as I'm playing, I'll go through and add some more information on how to write an email well for the IGCSC. So first of all you look at the question, that's the question there, it's all about a cousin who's going to stay with you but you've never met them. Now in your email you've got to include these things here, okay? And also your email should be between 150 and 200 words. You, you, you shouldn't go over 200. There's no need to. Okay. Remember, you should spend about half an hour on this type of writing here. And of course, as it says, 150, don't go under because you're likely to lose marks. So I'm going to play the video for you. And as I said, go through it with you, stopping and starting. So let's just move it forward a little bit. Let's move it forward. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so um, first of all, we, we write a greeting here. I've got dear Harry, dear Jane. You can also say hi, Harry, and make sure you got your first, first name. This is an informal email, and you've got a comma here. Okay, so that's the greeting.
then we have the introduction. Now the introduction is fairly short, but this is a great opportunity, especially in this email, to include this. All right, and of course keep it positive. Okay, and you'll see here it's a lovely feeling to know we're going to finally meet. Mm, lovely. I've also included here a question. All right, a question brings in the reader. It's a bit like a rhetorical question. And again, I thought you'd like to know something about us. So you're setting up for the next paragraph, which you'll be describing house and family and maybe sleeping arrangements. Okay, so as you can see, we're describing where we live. Okay, I've also included in this video some phrases, other phrases you could use. Okay, we're still describing the house, but here, I thought I'd put this in here. Uh, uh, that this explains the sleeping arrangements, okay? So as you can see, it doesn't have to follow this order, okay? So I've gone here, 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 but I haven't included family yet, okay? And as I said, don't, don't forget to include all of these points here, because this is likely to mean you might lose marks. Okay, so here I'm including family, so I've uh, included all of these points. Here I mentioned about my little brother, and you remember this, so make sure you use your f their first name in there. And here's a little bit of information uh, that your cousin might need to know. And again, some phrases if you want to talk about an older brother, you want to talk about a sister as well. So um, maybe brother and sister is enough. And of course, don't forget mum and dad, which I'll be writing about in the next bit. Okay, here's mum. Okay, it's great cook, and her dishes are delicious and healthy, healthy too. Okay, so you describe mum, and who's next? Is dad, of course, okay? He's easy going, he loves going out for walks, so make sure you bring some walking boots as he's bound to take us out, okay? So you're giving a bit of information there to your cousin, just in case the dad says, let's go for a walk. All right, and also, Personalizing your email is important as well. And you, again, here's some more phrases you can use in your email.
And the ending, a bit like the introduction, short and sweet, but what you're doing is you're coming back to the first paragraph, okay? And also don't forget this, all right? So f finish it off with something like all the best, comma, and your name there, all right? Often students forget about this one here, so all emails should have this at the end. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Nicely paragraphed, okay. And it should be about 200 words, okay. Let's just fast forward a little bit. So here's some tips. Use your imagination to describe things, okay? Listening is boring, so don't use it, okay? So don't say, I have four bedrooms, two kitchens, blah, 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 okay? Yeah, so Supply interesting information, okay? Don't write anything which is not necessary. So just include these things here. And as I said, right at the end here, personalizing, you'll be pleased to know as you can imagine, okay? These are good phrases you can use. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, video and also the lesson. So what I want you to do now is try and construct, try and to write your own email. I mean, you're more than welcome to watch this video again. So bye for now and join me again for a lesson with eSL, eSchool.com.